<laughs> my name is Kaylee. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to a binge. This is what it's like to binge. And if you came here because you're feeling the craving to binge, just watch my madness and let me remind you it's not worth it. It's so crazy. Like so much is happening right now because my food is on its way. I ordered pizza and ice cream and I just had a bagel for dinner, which triggered me. Like every time I eat sugar and flour, it triggers me. And I have a big backstory for you guys like so much is happening like i feel like before binge it's like chaos and bliss at the same time like i'm sitting in my apartment and i'm like like i dreamed about this like the sun is like shining through like never before i'm like oh my gosh like i'm living a dream i just put a load of laundry on if you guys can hear it and i'm just trying to clean everything up like, why am I literally trying to change my sheets? Because I'm already planning of how I'm going to get myself together after this. Like, what is wrong with me? I'm like, all right. Gosh, losing my mind. Let me tell you guys what's been going on. So, I got a new comforter. And we're wearing... We're wearing... Yeah, I'm throwing away this comforter or donating it. Whatever. And... I'm putting a fresh new pair of sheets on so after my binge I can have a new day. I'm like already planning my new day even though I'm about to sabotage myself. Oh my gosh. But it's so crazy guys because I hadn't eaten. It's May 5th or something. May 5th, 2023. I haven't eaten flour, sugar, or dairy since last year, 2022 because it was my New Year's resolution. But then... My friend told me about this diet, which I may or may not tell you guys about later, and it triggered me, and I, a week ago from today, I ate sugar and flour for the first time, and I did it again, and I did it again, so today this is my third night binging in one week, but what gives me closure is being like, okay, I made my New Year's resolution happen except for one week, like wrapping it up with one week, like in my head, I need to close the chapter like that. It was one week, not like it needs to end now because for me, I'm so happy without flicker, flicker, sugar, flour, and dairy. So anyways. I'm gonna go put these in the wash. We gotta get my life together. We gotta end this week now. Thank you. The guilty walk of shame. You guys know like, if you don't know, before binge, it's like chaos and peace because it's like all of a sudden it's like you like I always have to wash my hands, especially when I be licking my fingers. Yeah, gross. I'm so sorry you guys are watching me like this. I'm like out of my mind right now, I'm like not thinking. That's why it's like so psycho and like it's like this combination of like psycho and bliss because it's like everything's at peace. Because I'm relieving myself, but it's also chaos because I'm harming myself. This shit's crazy. This was $37.89. Holy crap. Binging is an expensive sport. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to get this ice cream now. So it's here when I finish. $20 ice cream. Nice. Y'all, this phone stand has changed my life. Because tripods are so hard. So, like, if you are a content creator or you like to watch, like, anything on your desk, I will link this below. I'm obsessed. I'm going to turn on a YouTube video. I kind of want to watch a love story. I've been in, like, my ready-to-meet-my-husband phase. Uh, all right. Here's the pizza. It might look gross to you but it looks fire to me. And I've had this before. This was what I ate a, exactly a week ago. So I'm gonna end it off here. I'm done. I'll keep you guys posted, but in my head, I'm done. And like, 
I said earlier, I went four months without flour, sugar, and dairy. So I know my life is better without this shit. But in the meantime, enjoy watching me eat and stress. And hopefully it makes you not want to do this. One song could change your whole life. So you got a spy as a calling. Million dollar house, got a mortgage. We gon' let him die, give it pouring. Try to shut a straw when we're falling. So you got a spy as a calling. When we let it slide as you're calling. We ain't gonna die to falling. Try to shut a straw when we're falling. Everybody got saw these in their clips. For the way they hand in their chips. Caught up in the web getting clicks. See the body count going tip, tip, tip. Popped up on my pop, I got you featured, you go hard. Popped out of your village, but you got 22 cars. Pop up with the pedestal, no, none of this was your fault. It was never your call, depending on who you ask, yeah. Disgusting. I'm gonna go wash my hands. Oh, that was so puke. Blah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, excuse me. My ice cream's here too. I feel like I wanna take a little bit of a pause. My YouTube. I blew up on TikTok and Instagram, but my YouTube has only really blown up from my videos of binge eating. And so I just want to invite all the girls and women who are here to stay around for more than just my binge eating and get to know me and be part of an empowering community in more than just a binge eating way. But also to follow my body image journey because it's an up and down roller coaster and struggle. And obviously I want to lift you up in any way I can and show you the authentic side of the journey because sometimes just seeing that other people are struggling is empowering. It's like, woof, I'm not alone. But um, yeah, I think, you know, as I build my YouTube, my eating and slash binging videos tend to do well. I don't know why. They're just the only videos that have really done well for me. But I don't binge often, so I don't want my whole account to be about binging. So anyways... And just stick around for more because my life is so much more entertaining than this. Let me go get my ice cream now because it's at the door. But I'm literally going to be so dehydrated. <sighs> Everyone knows after a binge, you're so thirsty all the time. Okay, let's go get this. <sighs> I literally feel it's like binging is the weirdest thing because you feel like you're forced to eat. It's like I literally can't eat right now, but I feel like I'm forced to. Spoon. Oh my gosh. It's like I'm scared of this right now. And it's so sad because like Carvel is like a famous New York City dessert place. And like here I am like can't even enjoy it. But anyways, I'm going to turn these lights off so I can peacefully enjoy the love story movie I'm watching. 
And I also have to tell myself, like, okay, Kaylee, even if you feel forced to eat this right now, you don't need a rush. Like, just take your time. You're going to get sick. Oh, fuck. Who does this? Ah! Spies are calling. Million dollar house got a mortgage. We gon' let him die, give it pouring. Try to shut a straw while we're falling. Twenty other spies are calling. When we let it slide, it's recording. We ain't gonna die till we're falling. Try to shut a straw while we're falling. Everybody got saw these in the clips. For the way they hand in their chips. Caught up in the web, getting clicks. See the body count going tick, tick, tick. Popped up on my pop, I got you featured, you go hard. Popped out of your pillage, but you got 22 cars. Pop up with the pedestal, no, none of this was your fault. It was never your call, depending on who you are, yeah. physically can't oh my gosh Ooh. I'm gonna go watch this love story and put this in the freezer Ooh. I'm so full guys I can't eat the rest and honestly like the sugar just grosses me out and just keep in mind before this past week I hadn't had sugar since last year so, like, my body, like, really is not used to it. Like, I feel so gross. Like, I cannot eat the rest. So, <laughs> I'm so... I just can't eat the rest because it's also literally puke. Um, But, yeah, I'm going to go change out my um laundry. And I'm going to go make my bed. Take a shower. I'm excited for a fresh start. I feel like I can really put this week behind me. I'm a really big all or nothing person, so sometimes I just need to be like, this year I had one week. But like when it was like five days, you know, I don't know how my mind works or why my mind works like that. But I'm still really full. Luckily I can like breathe. Like I'm not like dying. Like that. there were the other two nights this week I struggled and binged. I was like dying. Like I was like, Ugh! like literally the back number two was like number twoing so hard. Um, so I'm grateful that I'm like, I'm definitely full, but like, I can function. So let's go change up my laundry. I just got out of the shower and my um, dryer is still going, so I'm going to close the door. I just got out of the shower and don't worry, I have a towel on. <laughs> um, in the shower, I was thinking about how I'm not letting myself spiral again. Like three times this week, like after zero times, like, I've never been in a better place with my body, with my relationship, with food, in the gym, like, I'm not spiraling, like, absolutely no, like, I'm about to make my list, I feel like I've gotten so easy on myself, and so, I always, I've always believed, let me put some lotion on while I talk to y'all, I've always believed that downs are meant for a reason, and I feel like God gave me this down, so I could pick myself up like I need to turn this around I just need to like I can't spiral like I need to take my power back of like myself I'm literally so bloated like I feel like I have a whole baby in here I'm gonna make my plan for tomorrow right now. I'm gonna get my life together. I can't live like this. If I wanna achieve my goals and dreams, like this is not what it looks like.